here's my analysis of the number seven Baylor versus Mendy Statements basketball game. First of all, it was a little uglier. It was uglier than that score implicated. 89 to 60. First half, they were even trailing a, a, a few points in the game. But they finished with the third, 30, they scored 39 points to have the lead, nine point lead at halftime. Second half, they only allowed the same amount of points, but they scored 50. So there's obviously more than that. Mindy State shot the ball 38.5%, which it was a lot better in the second half, and they came out with more energy. Mindy State did in the first half than in the second. Though they made it close, but they had only had one timeout remaining for the game. They had to call it within like the 15 minute mark or something. I don't remember. Or less than 13 minutes left in the game. So they only had one timeout for the whole entire second half. But Minton East State made most of their shot, can, shot threes in the, in the first half. They made 9 out of 21, which is 42.9%. That has to improve. They were getting beat down there. 11 foot 16 on free throws for Minton East State, 68.8%. Minton East had, State, Minton East had 32 rebounds, 13 assists, 9 steals, 2 blocks, 21 turnovers. Which most of those were in the second half. 19 fouls. Mitten East State only had like 16 points off the bench. Okay, while Baylor shot 56.7% from the field, 34 for 60 to be exact, 12 for 30 on threes, which is 40%, 9 for 17 on free throws, which that's a bad percentage. That, it's bound to happen. I know Jalen Bridges had an awful game free throw wise, 2 for 6. He was perfect until th today with four straight misses. So, for the year, 33 rebounds, 30 assists, which is really good, 11 steals, two blocks, 11 turnovers, 17 fouls. Baylor had, look at this, 12, 19, 30 points off the bench. Langston Love led the bench wise, 11 points on four for seven shooting, two for three on threes, one for one on free throws. Four rebounds, one assist, one steal, one turnover, two fouls. Dale Bonner, he only had seven points in the game, two for two on, from the field, one for one from three, two for four from the free throw line, which I thought he should he could have made at least one more of those, maybe even two. One rebound, but 12 assists. <whistles> two steals, one turnover. Jake Young can do. He only played the last two minutes of the game. He didn't do, score anything. He didn't. Caleb Lohner had six points on three for five shooting, 0 for one on three, one rebound, one steal, but four fouls. Zach Love, they only played five minutes, 0 for two from the field, zero points, one steal, which the ball was thrown straight at him. Inadvertently, one turnover and one foul. Josh Ujuwuna only played 13 minutes, but six points, six two for two from the field, two for two from the free throw line, two rebounds in the game, one turnover, one foul. Now, starting wise, Adam Flagler had 13 points, five for nine shooting, three for six on threes, four rebounds, nine assists, two steals, one turnover. LJ Cryer had 16 points on seven for 13 on from the field, two for six on threes, but but he made up for that with more drives to the basket, which is smart. Three steals, two assists, one block, three turnovers though, that needs to be corrected, and three fouls. Keontae George, he didn't have a great game somewhat in the beginning, but he ended up with 17 points in the game, six for 13 on from the field, four for 11 on threes, which I wish he would take better looks than on those misses I mean one for one from the free throw line five assists I mean yeah five assists five rebounds two turnovers one foul Flo Thamba is not really known as a scorer but he had five points in the game two for two from the free throw line one for three on free throws which I really hope he gets his free throw percentage up in the future four rebounds one assist two steals two fouls Jalen Bridges after not having any points in the last two games, he scored eight today. On 19 minutes, three for five from the field, 
0 for 2 on threes, which I know he could shoot really good from three though. 2 for 6 from free throws, like I said. I, I know that percentage. He's a lot better than that today, uh, normally. 7 rebounds in a game. 2 steals, 1 block, 1 turnover, 3 fouls. Now, this is good to get this kind of clunker somewhat out of the way. Because even though we won by 29, it was ugly for the majority, for half the game, then a little bit more. Because they were just hanging around. You got to put them away. Now, next game is Marquette, which they're currently 3-2. and two, But I know they are going to play another game before us and I will do a preview on them and they actually play on Saturday I mean they do play Saturday and they're playing right now against Georgia Tech and they're up currently by 16 points with 41 seconds left in the first half so they should be 5-2 and two in theory should be so then of course the following game after that is Gonzaga on Peacock on 7 p.m. Central Time. And we know Gonzaga is 3-1 and one on the year, but they're going to play more games. And I'm going to do a preview on that as well. As soon as it gets closer, granted, it does need to be closer. I mean, I don't want to start too soon because they have that Phil Knight legacy then they're going to play us. I mean, tournament, then they'll play us. So, anyways, I just want to break that, that, and that, break that down in the game, what happened today. And I expect them to be better in terms of injuries. No Jordan Turner still with that rest. And same thing goes for the, the walk-on. What's his name? I should know. But you know what I mean. That walk on with that boot. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I know it's. But he's mostly a guy that's in practice. I, he would be practicing, so. Once I see the name, I'll know it. Trust me. I know. I try to know the numbers with the players. <laughs> I try. Oh, yeah. Austin Sachs. That's right. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. It's going to be the point of subscribers and more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.